and and it, it depends a lot on um, on Christian factors that, that don't have to do with security, uh, or non-Christian factors that don't have to do with security. People's actualizations in Christianity means that if they make a video and you know, you know, they, they don't have to make it over and over again that they believe they have something to contribute just as they are, not something to put in front of them, some mask or some uh, activity like, um, you know, maybe being a Bible scholar. They feel like they must, you know, I've heard someone say this, you know, oh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to feel like I have to be a Bible scholar. I don't want to feel, you know, I just want to, um, that my contribution to the world and to life itself, and I believe Christ makes this possible in a real deep way, um, is my actualization. I myself, um, having been saved, and not only saved, but feel, but I feel safe, getting getting nutrition, and this is hard to explain for people who, you know, have a religious background and not a real born again Christian background. Um, feeling safe, the nutrition, you know, you know, is from a, for a born again Christian, you've got nutrition coming in, and they, the realization that they are safe, that they're belonging in love among people in a Christian perspective, you know, it's hard, this later on, belonging in love by God, which gives you esteem. You know, my writing, see, my handwriting is my own distinctive handwriting. That's kind of what you get with Christianity, is they feel, Christians feel, this is mine, who I am is mine. Who I am makes a contribution. I don't have to fancy it up. I don't have to go with graphics. And, you know, I don't have to, I don't have to fake uh, knowledge about things that I, I mean, you know, you want, you don't want to impress people that you don't have knowledge. You don't want to, you know, just go around and saying, well, you know, I don't know about this and I don't know about that. But, you know, when you are self-actualized in totality, then your contribution, your greatest contribution is yourself. And you're confident in that. You transcend, you know, other things. Transcendence from a Christian perspective would be um, <clears throat> would be well I mean for example for my example you know some people might be upset that you know I'll occasionally throw in a cuss word I try not to because I as long as I feel like it kind of belongs in there try to keep it on a toned down level and they'll say oh this is all importance and so and, and, and a, a Christian with, some, with a lot of knowledge will say, well, you may not want to impress somebody that, you know, you just, I don't know, you may not want to just express that all the time and, and use all type, all type of talk that other people would find socially acceptable. That may be a little bit strong or, or quite strong for certain people, you know, maybe for children. I don't think a lot of children watch my video. They don't need to know the F word because then they're going to ask what it means and they're not ready to deal with that. Also, at the, at the same time, people, you want to consider other people's feelings and consider, consider not only their sensibilities, but the fact that that might strike them as being um, inappropriately forceful at the same time realizing those 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 parameters that, or those um, factors I should say maybe not parameters you also realize that you know it's a word I mean to put it on a simple level it's a word and for me I've stopped I've started shedding or have have been have shed you know, the concept of this is what a Christian is. Um, and that Christianity is in life. It doesn't, it's not a 
separate part of life. And that it, that it is, you know, it does transcend a lot of things. It, it transcends the taboos and all that other stuff, but you yourself transcend um, the um, well, you yourself transcend uh, for example beyond you know hmm you, beyond uh, what is um, well beyond the circumstances that you start seeing that whether you go through this or whether you go through that uh, that the circumstances do not change who you are but you're a part of the whole thing you transcend whether Christian or non-Christian the world and all that stuff and you know that may seem like it's easy but it, it's not but um, when it comes to actualization a step below that people They may be actualizing their talents, but it's important to be actualized psychologically. Um, and I think when you feel confident, when you feel like you have contributions to your marriage, when you feel good about yourself, good to your wife, when you, as a Christian, you know, as a born again Christian, when you feel um, that you have a contribution and that your wife has a contribution to life, you're going to be happy. Uh, and, you know, in marriage, you're going to say, well, this, um, you know, kind of a gestalt type thing where we together, um, are a team, and have a place in the world. Uh, not just act and have an effect, but have a place in the world. Even in the world where you're welcome or not welcome, or where you feel comfortable or don't feel comfortable, you fit in. Self-esteem, the contribution, the actualization, and the, 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 the idea that you're part of something bigger.